Hello everybody and welcome back to brand new Dead Overflow video. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe. We're getting close to 60k. So if you can help me get there, that'll be really appreciated. Also, make sure to get my ultimate Android API hacking course, which is in a discount by the way. So the discount is quite big. Also, my bug bounty course, which is also in a discount, half 50% off. And also my game hacking course, which includes some game example cheats. Everything is in the description. Now, let's go with the video. So today's video will be about reverse engineering. I really haven't done that in quite a while, therefore I wanted to do a video about it. So it's going to be interesting. The actual software that we're going to be cracking is an example software, and I really want to get to down of it and figure out how we can bypass this license key. Now YouTube, dear YouTube employee or automated system, this is actually just a test program and you will see in the video that it actually is. Don't worry, this is not a real one. And if you actually want to do it, please do it ethically. And if you find something like a bypass to cheat or license, you know, report that to the company so they can, you know, fix it. You get the money, they get the fixed software. It's a win-win situation. So yeah, don't do anything illegal with this. So what I'm going to be using is going to be using Cheat Engine and all, a whole lot of different stuff to figure out how we can get to the bottom of it. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be really interesting. So first of all, uh, what I always like to do when I'm doing these types of videos or these types of analytics, reverse engineering, is maybe using a string software or a strings binary to just see what's what's going on with it maybe you can find an http link because i'm assuming it actually goes online and when i tried it offline it didn't want to work so it goes online to check for a license that we enter and as you can see if i enter one two three four submit that license uh, it goes and it tells me that you know the license is invalid so uh yeah uh, we're going to be actually using strings so strings on the main.exe program to see what we can find but I'm going to pipe that into, you know, uh, I don't know, main.txt file. Not string, strings, God, Windows. So let's wait until this is completed to maybe find something interesting. So there we go, it executed, and we can find the main.txt file. So let's actually drag that and drop it into, and there it is. It's quite a big file. What I want to search for is HTTP, and we need this. So HTTP, it can only find one. That's interesting. So. This tells us that the string is probably constructed at a runtime, not actually like this. Yeah, you cannot see anything here that's going to be interesting. So therefore, I believe it is constructed at runtime because the only HTTP string we can find is a Microsoft one to Windows settings. So that's probably not it. Okay, so that means we're going to be using Cheat Engine, which I'm assuming most of you are familiar with because you have seen my game hacking cords and all of that. So we can go over here, add the license checker into the Cheat Engine. And we can start by searching for that value. So we can go value type to be string, and we can search for literally HTTP and this. So we can search for this prefix and if we find something. And we obviously did, that's crazy. But which one of these is the correct one? Because if I open the first one, let's say, and extend the length of it, they're 32. It's to IANA.org assignments, whatever, what, what the hell is this? Second one could be it, maybe, I don't know. Second one is to Google. Third one is, uh, I don't know, to to Python. And you actually have to go through each one of these to figure out which one of them takes you to maybe something suspicious, which can be a license check. Uh, actually, speaking about it, we actually already found it. So this is most likely what's going on. As you can see, it takes the key, sends it over here to this one, and we can double click on it and copy it. Go over here, paste it in, and maybe type one, two, three, four, and we can get, of course, the Okay, we get the invalid license, so it's definitely using this local host URL. So let's refresh this as well. Okay, so let me just refresh it a bit. Uh, the status code is also 403 forbidden. Maybe that's how they, you know, communicate, but I don't know. So now that we understand that, we can start by hacking this. One thing we can definitely do is, let me delete all of these. We can double click on this string and maybe change something like a local host too and see whether that will work. So if I click submit license, I should see that maybe timed out request or something will work. Okay, so as you can see, it tell me could not reach server. So that's interesting. And over here, I have crafted a very simple HTTP server, which is just like this. And it runs on the 1337 port. It's also localhost. So uh, let's put check as well here. And wh whichever request on check we receive, we're just going to return 200 or works, whatever. Just run now the server. And let's see what can we do about it. So in the string, we can update this string to be localhost. But instead of this 5000 port, we can put 1337. Very simple. Now, why is there localhost 5000 ports that 
5000 port in the first place because this is not an actual program in an actual program it would take you to an actual website this is just taking you to localhost because it is a locally hosted website which i hosted so let's put this and let's click submit license and we should technically see license valid and we also receive the request with the license so that's pretty cool we just bypassed this simple license checker but Doing all of this, searching for the string, updating this, then running a server can definitely take some time. And when you just want to run a program, it usually doesn't do it this way. So we can definitely make another program, which will find this value in the memory, edit it to what we want it to be. For example, in this case, my own server, and then whatever you enter and click submit license, it will always work. That's one thing we can do, but that's definitely kind of hard and I'm not really going to show you that but I do encourage you to try and find it for this program you can find it in the description box below it is actually on github hosted so if you can figure that out post your own program python code in the comments down below for me to check out you might get something free for me so there you go that's actually a little challenge I want to give y'all but what I will show you is that if I reset the program this won't work be why because this will get replaced with something else because it's it is a dynamically loaded string therefore we need to do something that will find always that will always point to this so one thing we can do is you can right click on it and go to pointer scan for this address just click ok whatever save it with whatever i don't know and just after you're done you should just wait see a whole lot of results that point to you know localhost just make sure it for you will be four bytes and will look very weird so just make sure to put string but we can't took four bytes go here and copy this value from here so let me just copy it and now i'll go back what i'll do right now is i'll close the program and as you can see all of them just disappeared and let me reopen the program over here you can also see that nothing updated but we can now go to pointer scan rescan memory we can put values to find four bytes and we can put the value we copied click ok and just put blah, blah, whatever and after a while it should give us every single pointer which always points to this and if i go string you can see that it actually does point to that and if i click let's say this one it is now there but as you can see it's string zero so we can increase the string's length by putting string you know 32 string and now that's it and now if i close the program as you can see, it's nothing. I go back and reset the program and reattach this to cheat engine. It should, as you can see, point to this, whereas this one doesn't. So there you go. That's a little help you can get from me to crack this software. It is in the description. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.